Good morning. I wanted to show all of you who have a sponge shoulder rest how to put that on your violin or viola. There's a video already on my blog that shows how to put the coon shoulder rest on, but today I'm going to show you how to put on a sponge shoulder rest. You need your violin or viola, you need a sponge shoulder rest, and you need a rubber band. So if you'll notice, the sponge shoulder rest has a flat part and then on the top there's a hill and a valley, a high part and a low part. You're going to take your instrument, protecting the bridge, and hold it upside down. I put the scroll kind of out the back that way and I'm holding it right here. You can see the end button. And I'm going to put the flat part of the sponge shoulder rest against the back of the instrument. The high part, the flat part, goes on the side that does not have the chin rest. So the low part goes on the side with the chin rest, the fat part goes on the side that does not have the chin rest. Then what you're going to do, and this is the tricky part, but with a little practice you'll get it. So you're going to stretch the rubber band over the end, pin, end button, and then I'm going to tilt it up a little so you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to stretch it up and you're going to wrap one side around that corner and one side around this corner of the bout and so that you've got it firmly attached right here. And to take it off, you just do the opposite. So I'm going to do that one more time. So you've got the flat part of the sponge shoulder rest, the fat part on the side that does not have the chin rest. You can also, let's do it a different way. You can stretch it over the corners first and then bring it down over the end button this way. That will work too. But you want the rubber bands going over the top like this of the chin rest or of the shoulder rest so that that's being held on there. So then when you've got this, and the, the video is probably backwards because it doesn't, I'm not sure it flips. So then that goes, sits on your shoulder this way. Okay? Just remember, do not put this away in the case with this on. You have to take it off before you put it away in the case. If it works for you, you can leave the rubber band kind of hanging there. That can go in the case. But if you put the shoulder rest in the case, then it's going to be too fat to close the case, and then the case is going to push down and maybe break your bridge. Eee! That would be awful. So there you go. If you have any questions, make sure to ask your teacher. Bye.